thing is I think it's easy to get your hands on any kind of ramen noodles in Macau but the really good ones, I mean the really good ones, the authentic ones, there's only a handful of them that does it right and this place is one of them. Hey guys, my name is Carla, here is behind the camera and as always, as usual, welcome to this episode of Trila. Today, we are going to bring you to the three of the best ramen places around Macau. Come on, let's go! You know, I wasn't always into ramen. The very first time I had like authentic ramen and not like the fake kinds of Japan here in Macau was in Tokyo. From here and I went to travel in Japan. And um, it was, I think, uh, Ichiran Ramen. And from that point onwards, I was like, hooked. Oh. So now I'm very much into ramen. <laughs> this is curious. First off, we are going to a restaurant called Seu Heng Hin. I don't know if the pronunciation is correct, but that's basically the name in English. And the funny thing is, we've been coming here for years, but I can never remember the name of the place. We just know how to get here. So it's tucked away in a little street in Taipa Village. It's right behind me. If you can see that lantern over there, that's where we're going to eat today. It can be a little bit difficult to find the place if you're not familiar with Taipa Village, but basically you just have to look for the street called Travesa Lofu and you'll find this restaurant right here. So I went ahead and got us a number because there's a queue right outside. So we have to wait for two more people to get in before we can eat. If you're hungry, this is not a place that I recommend for you to go to if you can't wait because this place is usually packed. But um, we're okay, we can wait. So I think in any kind of ramen restaurant, authentic ones, this is how you order. You can pretty much customize your order and that's what we're gonna do today. So I am gonna get um, okay, so they have different kinds of um, broth right here that you can choose from. I've tried pretty much all of them, um, but anyway, today I'm gonna get the cheese ramen. So I'm just gonna have to look for it because it's in Chinese and I'm gonna have to copy the Chinese characters. If I can write it down correctly. This sucks. <laughs> I tried. Eric's gonna take his order. What do you want? Do you want me to do it for you or are you gonna do it yourself? No, no? You do it yourself? Okay. sauce is so creamy because it's milk based I mean duh what do you expect right and I got this pork shoulder right here mm -hmm. I like my ramen soft so this is the soft noodle oh my gosh it's so good so I got the spicy one and it's pretty warm now, it's not hot anymore. It's like the AC is like right above me. Let's try it. Yeah, it's pretty warm now. But really tasty, really rich. So I got the firm one, the firm ramen. Because I like it al dente. Like let's try it. Really good. You guys have to try this. This is so satisfying. Um, usually I would go for like the spicy ramen, like what Pear is having at the moment, but today I just felt like getting um, cheese. And I think if you're into spicy ramen, it's really good to get the spicy ramen here as well. A little fun fact for you guys. This place was actually located at a different location on the same street next door, if I remember correctly. But right now it's a little different. The old place was... I would say I like the vibe kind of better than the other place, but space was it's pretty much the same. Yeah. The other space was a little bit more moody, dark and everything. 
But it's good that even when they moved and changed and everything, they still were able to maintain the quality of their dishes. That's what I like about this place. Alright, so we paid 154 for two bowls of ramen, which is a little over the average price that you pay for a bowl of noodles in Macau, but that's what you pay for a good kind of ramen. Ramen don't come cheap, so it's worth it. Now we are moving on to the next stop. Let's get it. Wait, I think we're going that way. <laughs> Based on my research, there's actually two locations where you can um, find this ramen. So one's in Taipa and one's in Macau. So we are of course in Taipa. And okay, it's right here. Oh, I think we have to queue up. There seems to be a line, a queue. We'll have to wait. So while waiting, I'm just looking at what kind of stuff we can actually get from this place. So apparently, even though they're known for ramen, you can pretty much get a lot of different Japanese food here as well. But um, today we're here for ramen, so I'm a little bummed up because I kind of want to try their rice dishes. But no, tonight's all about ramen. And um, I know that this video is supposed to be the best ramen places to go to in Macau. But since this is the first time we're going to try this place, I can't really attest to that yet. Um, our standard for good ramen is basically based off of the ramen in Galaxy, which is the Butao ramen, the third place that we're going to go to in today's video. But um, let's see if this comes close to that or even comes close to the first one that we went to earlier today. Okay, so it's a little difficult to order if you don't read Chinese because um, basically the menu is on an app called WeChat which is pretty much a China based app and then you have to scan a QR code and then order from there. Okay, so the order is finally here even though it took a while. Oh, that's good. The broth is very savory. This is supposedly spicy, so I guess that it makes it up. It's not that spicy actually, but it's good. It's so savory. It tastes like comfort food. I like it. Mm, not much soup. We got some veggies. We got this chili, because I asked for spicy. Creamy. Different from other ramens I've tried, but. Mm. It's hot. Mm. It's good. Compared to the normal ramen that I'm used to, I like where you can customize everything from the broth to the oils, garlic. I like my garlic rich. Here, like, the only thing you can customize basically is the firmness of the noodles or additional sides like egg, seaweed, more chasu, more noodles. But I'm not mad. It's pretty good. Okay, so I'm trying Pierce noodles right now. Let's see how it is. This is the miso ramen. Mm. Oh, this is different. I actually like this. This is so good. The sauce is kind of thick too. No wonder you're saying it's, it's not a lot of sauce. It's not because it's not a lot, it's because it's thick. I like this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna finish your noodles. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> That cost us 150. And as always, paid by MPay.
Just a few words, I think if we're gonna rate this restaurant, I would say eight out of 10. Not because it's not good, I'm not saying it's not good. I still recommend you guys go and check it out, but it's just a little bit different from the usual ramen that we're kind of used to. And it's not something that, you know, Pear and I would kind of crave for. It's not something like we want to go back to. Once in a while maybe, but not like all the time. So yeah, but still go and check it out, try it. It's good. All right, we're heading on to the next stop, ramen number three. Let's go. The third and last spot that we are going to is located within the Galaxy Hotel Complex. I think everybody can take a guess. Everybody and anybody who's into ramen would know about Butao Ramen inside the Galaxy Hotel Complex. We really saved this up for last because in my opinion, this is like the best ramen that you can find around Macau at the moment. You can argue with me, but I think it's really the best. So we're gonna go ahead right now. Ah, uh, very secure, I can see at the moment. I'm kind of starving, it's almost 2 p.m. We're just gonna have to wait and line up. It's a long one. Do you want any add-on? So Butao Ramen actually serves Hakata Ramen which uses tonkotsu or pork soup or pork broth for their noodles and the noodles are slightly thinner than your average ramen. Today I am getting the spicy ramen. They actually have four different kinds of ramen here or even more actually but like basically what they do is they use their pork broth as a base and then they will add on like little things such as for example spicy or like squid ink or they have like Italian version wherein they add some kind of um, pesto sauce to it so it's like a little bit uh, creamy with cheese and like olive oil and stuff like that which is actually my favorite, but um, today I'm going to have something different because I tried that last time when we were here, so today I'm eating a spicy. So look at that. Oh, the chili. This is the special sauce on top right here. I got the um, pork belly. So you can add additional toppings to your ramen, but usually this is good enough for me as long as I have some protein in there. And the noodles, I like it soft as always. So just mix it up a little bit before I go and dig in. So wanna when I get that sauce in there, you know? I mean, like, look at that. You have to, like, mix it well and get all that blended in. Oh, that is rich. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So the level of spice I got is twice only. Two times. That's already a little bit spicy for my palate, but um, it's good. Oh. My pear is having the black king, so that's like squeezing, and he can tell you more about it later. I'm just gonna savor mine first. So I got mine in all rich level, special oil infused, rich, special sauce, rich, garlic, rich. Although I'm not rich, but I like everything rich in my ramen. What up? And then I got the pork butt, because I like pork butts. And I cannot lie, so my spicy level is five. So satisfying. <clears throat> for extra toppings, Pierre got some seaweed. One for you. Aw, so sweet. Thank you. Like, so you just soak it in there. 
once it all soaked in, it absorbs all of that soup flavor. So good. Alright, so in total we paid 186 MOP for two bowls of ramen, which I think is worth every penny because the quality, the taste, it's just, it's worth it. Um, but that's not the original price. So originally it was supposed to be 207 MOP, but because we have this Galaxy um, privilege card, you can actually get um, some form of discount. And my math keep going down. <laughs> um, you can pretty much apply for this card easily just go to the casino of galaxy and look for the membership counter or something like that and you can get this one and you can use this for, for wherever you can die here in galaxy wherever it's applicable uh we're not sponsored by galaxy but hopefully they will <laughs> anyway okay that is it we are concluding this episode of ramen um if you guys like it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and of course hit the notification bell as well so you get notified and leave any comment in the comment section down below if you wanted to try other things around Macau but you want to know, let us know and we'll try to, you know, accommodate your request so again, thank you and we'll see you in the next episode goodbye <laughs>